sent you to me so you can love me gently what a sweet sweet angel on earth without your halo no time can change what you meant to me people come and go but i know you'll always be here for me i'm just unable to see holding me in your arms singing me lullabies never thought that one day i'll be saying goodbye goodbye is forever just couldn't do it whatsoever didn't care with whomever no one can make me not ever never then one afternoon god called his precious angel back home it was all so soon must have been a full moon paralyzed in my thoughts i heard a familiar tune your voice in my ear singing giving me everything you had left to show me your love i mean being your last offspring then you vanished there was no one no more i couldn't touch you physically nor could i see you leaving behind all this unsaid baggage for the rest of my life i had to deal with humility and confusion difficulty and intrusion invisibility and delusions unrealistically and exclusions dear mama growing up without a mother can you think of anything better nope me either then you live life thinking people wouldn't understand until they lose their mother still people try to replace her or is it just the pain of losing her is what they're trying to erase this might be the case living without a mother is nothing to play imagine having to stay on this hell place called earth while you watch your mother's soul fly away this is a lovely poem written by me tara j to you talking about living with and without a mother hey what's up guys it's me again tara j welcome back to the i got something to say with tara j pod if you are new here thanks so much for coming and welcome to team tj and for the normal supporters hey 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 i love you all this podcast is on mental health awareness as the patient no i'm not a specialist but i am a patient just like you waiting to be seen so child if no one can relate i sure can so let's break the stigma on mental health let's get educated on mental illness because it is a big thing a big thing that a lot of people don't understand or make huge if you do your research and look into the signs you will never know so i'm screaming as loud as i can to the healthcare system that they need to do more free sessions with therapists mental health seminars informationals one-on-one meetings with other people who've already accepted their illness even group sessions with people who have learned to embrace their mental illness. Let's take a quick break before we dig deep into how dealing with the loss of a loved one, especially a parent, can wound you mentally. Have you ever wanted to start a podcast? Well, great. Here's a huge tip, and it is completely free. Go to Anchor. Dot fm or download the anchor app that's a n c h o r dot fm or just download the app like i said and get started it allows your podcast to go all over everywhere and again it is free you get to have it on the apple podcast app spotify google podcast and so much more so get started on your podcast guys i'll be the first to listen just send it over to me all right okay so let's dig deep into what this topic is about episode four we're talking about losing a loved one have your mother passed away maybe even your father or was it a huge tragedy that god needed them both to come back home serious mental illnesses is highly reported in those who have lost their mother, father, or even both. However, 
Death in any close loved one is associated with a variety of physical and mental disorders, including suicidal thoughts, even depression. It's like you instantly have to grow up so fast because no matter who steps in to help, there's nothing like a mother's love or a father's guidance. Especially losing a parent at a young age. You don't know what grief is, so you don't even get a chance to grieve him or her. You just have to keep living life, go through school, graduation, seeing all these mothers and fathers loving on their children, congratulating them, and you're just there with a grandma, an auntie, no one really that personal to be able to be proud of you of all of these accomplishments. So you just pretend like everything is okay just to get through life. Then one day this happens. Your pain and agony rushes all back and causes you to elapse into a deep depression. Now your depression or any other mental illness that may have developed in you is growing rapidly. All because of the loss of your mother, father or even both. So you ask, what do you do? Or, what did I do? You begin to grieve no matter what age you are. It's okay. Grief is normal in humans. Your mental health is affected here in this moment. At this time, your mind shifts. Shifts into this thing called, well, most people call, complicated grief. Where there's so much unsolved so how does your mind work one you become unable to accept the death two you begin to feel intense sorrow emotional pain and sometimes it includes bitterness and anger three you're unable to enjoy good memories about that loved one four you even begin to blame yourself for one's death Five, you are wishing to die to be with that loved one. Six, you begin to feel loss of identity or you feel like you lost your purpose in life or like a part of yourself died with that loved one. All of these things are more likely kept inside and swept under the world with others not dealing with those exact pains. Completely understanding that grieving isn't always best to do alone is when you're able to begin coping with your loss. First things first, allow yourself to feel the pain. I know the feeling sucks, but it will help you grow as well. Your mental health is so important. You never really know what you're feeling because before you dig into the feelings, what do you do? You're so quick to ask, why is this happening? Rather than trying to deal with what's happening in the moment. So allow yourself to breathe. And if you can't do that, seek help. But try your best to think of all the great memories you've had with this person. Even if it's hard, and it will be, push forward. Know that no matter where you go, your spirit, in their spirit, will always be connected. Control, learn to control your energy. Pick up the aura from the universe that your mother or father or both are bringing to you. And always remember, you are loved. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't be afraid to talk about it. Owning your mental illness is a great thing. Remember, your feelings matter. Quick tips on how to prevent an anxiety attack. Breathe deeply in through the nose and out through your mouth. Slowly look around and find five things you can see. Slowly look around and find four things you can touch. Slowly look around and find three things you can hear. Slowly look around and find two things you can smell or two smells you like. 
slowly look around and find one emotion you feel. Guess what? Now you're calm. This was called grounding. It can help you feel like you've gone too far in the head and lost all control of your surroundings. And now you're just fine. Okay, guys. This is Tyra J checking out. See you guys on the next episode while we continue to break the stigma of mental illness. I love you. Peace.